Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of the bi-weekly wishlist or washout. If you're new to my channel or if you've not seen the series before, what I do is every other Wednesday go through all the new makeup releases that I see on Instagram, and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wishlist or if everything's a total washout. I did do a slight update to my background. I moved some things around, but now I have like more shelving space. Let me scoot. I'm gonna move this, so I've got like that kind of set up, and over back here I just rearranged a few more things. It's not final, so I'm gonna still keep messing around with it but i like having like the two shells behind me now um though this is black i might need to change the scarf right there but i'm really happy with how it looks so far <laughs> so we have quite a few products to go through as usual so let's go ahead and jump in i'm gonna scoot this way today oh i like how this looks this is so cute also my space bun is falling out you know it took so long to do my hair today and the buns are just falling out they're just yeah that is there. All right, let's start with some products that I actually got tagged in first. Um, first, we have this. So this is a new stick highlighter from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I think it's just I've just personally had a bad experience of stick highlighters. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of cream or like liquid highlighters either. I just really like powder highlighters. I think they're just really good as they are. And I've got so many powder highlights that I love. And whenever I try to bring in a different formula of highlighter, it just is just like meh for me, but especially like a stick highlighter. I think I had one stick highlighter that I got in a just, um, subscription box and ended up decluttering it. So based on that alone, I wouldn't get this. But knowing it's ABH, this is just another kind of random release from ABH. Like they went to makeup wipes to, I don't know. I just, I feel like they really don't have a direction. Now, what I honestly, what I think they need to do is stop with the big Norvina palette and like big Norvina palettes and the Norvina brand. Come back and do a regular, one of those 12 pan palettes. Just do a really good, maybe like an updated modern renaissance. How awesome would that be? A modern renaissance too. That would fly off the shelves, okay? Or something along those lines, maybe something like a subculture, but in a different color family, something different like that. And just go back to their original 12 pan palettes. Cause those used to be like literally like some of the best palettes in the entire industry. And it's shocking to see how ABH is now from where it used to be. So I'm just a little bummed out by that. And it's just, it's, it's just another kind of like meh release from them. But what do you think? Is it, would you be interested in this kind of release from ABH? Let me know. Next, Tarte is coming out with a new foundation. This is the Amazonian Clay 16 Hour Foundation. Is this brand new or is this like an update? It might be an update because I feel like they've had so many Amazonian Clay everythings, right? Well, it says new Amazonian Clay full coverage foundation. Eh. And it, are they only selling this through QVC? Am I the only one who's like, nah, about QVC? I think I've actually purchased one thing excuse me, from QVC. And it was another backup of my favorite uh, Becca Royal Glow highlighter because I could not find it anywhere else. Um, but eh, they've got 46 shades, but let's actually look at the shade range. It's not great. It's not great. Do you see like only the two last rows are actually like getting kind of dark? And look at the ratio. It's like three fourths of it is pale pale. And I can, I, I can point out like five shades, at least in the top four rows that don't need to be there. Based on this, they don't. So that's, that's unfortunate. Um, how much is it? So they make you buy it in a bundle with the brush and it's $39 to be quite frank. I don't want to try it out that badly. <laughs> I just don't. I feel like it's been a while since there's been a Tarte product that I've really like been dying to try. Hmm. I think the last thing that I tried was that concealer and then that concealer pulled a bait and switch on me because I loved the sample size of the concealer, but then I bought the full size and it was trash <laughs> and I was very upset. Um, but yeah, I'm not interested, so I'm not going to be picking this up. But what do you think? All right. Another product that I got tagged in was this collab. This is Makeup Revolution and Bratz. And it's just like, it looks like Claire's makeup. I mean, it's a collab with Bratz, okay? It's a childhood uh, intellectual property. There it is. And the palette is just like, okay. Personally, like, 
now that I've seen Makeup Revolution come out with so many brands, you know, I'm actually really interested in doing like a deep dive video on why they come out with so many brands and what the brands are and why they're different and blah, blah, blah. So I actually just started researching that. It's going to take me a while. There's a lot to go through and I actually want to do like a decent job and make sure I have all my ducks in a row before I film that. Um, so that'll be coming at some point. I don't want to give a time frame because I have no idea honestly when I want to be finished with all that research. Um, but yeah, I'm just curious. So have you... Are you curious too about Makeup Revolution? If you have any like articles or just anything that you've heard, let me know down below because I'm, I'm starting to get together all that research. So it looks like Buxom did a collab with Ash K. Home. So I'm not sure who Ash is. It looks like they work with Buxom as the global celebrity makeup artist or one of them. Um, the palette itself. It's just like, okay, it's mainly neutrals, and then you've got a purple and a blue. Those swatches look photoshopped as all hell. Um, but to be honest, I don't think, I think I've only ever tried one Buxom palette, and it was a gift from my friend Bougie Brie, and it was just a neutral palette, and the shades are pretty good. I liked them, but it wasn't anything, like, exciting. It was just, like, a decent neutral palette. So for this, it's $39, which, that's steep. That's steep. $39, and I, I just don't think I would reach for this color story, so, meh. Glamlight is doing a collab with McKay, Michaela J Makeup. Yeah, Beauty by Michaela Jane. Oh, I think she's a TikTok influencer. Yeah, okay, so she's it looks like she's a TikTok influencer. She's got a million followers on Instagram, so I'm sure she probably has plenty more on TikTok. Um, the palette itself. Mm. I have to say, I like I really like the bottom row. Like that bottom row with that like green and that yellow and the purple. Actually, the bottom two rows. If you had just given me the bottom two rows as a palette, I'd probably like be on it. Like it looks cute. I like those colors. I like the teals. I like the shimmers. I like the mattes. Um, the rest of the palette, it's it seems like a kitchen sink palette. Like you throw everything in there but the kitchen sink so that hopefully everyone finds something that they would like, what corner of it they would use and so everyone buys it. I mean, Glam Light is like decent quality, but I also don't use like giant palettes like this either. And how much is this? So the palette, it's $42 and that's the thing. I feel like for Glam Light, their palettes are like to me, from like my experience with their products and like the way they're marketed and everything, I feel like they're way overpriced. I feel like 42 for this is a lot. Mm. So yeah, I'm not going to be picking this up. Okay, so now I honestly can't remember if I already mentioned this. Um, I might have, but it, you know, I'm going to say it again. So ABH, they came out with another big Norvina palette and it's literally just a bigger version of the original ABH Norvina palette. And it's like a, a less good version, especially from what I've heard. I've heard the formula in these big Norvina palettes is not the same as these 12 pan palettes. So you're getting a bigger palette with redundant shades in a worse quality formula. Yikes. Honestly, I really like the Norvina palette, the original one. Um, I'd recommend this one. You pick it up. I was actually at Ulta the other day and I saw they actually still have this for sale. So I think it's still available. Um, but I saw this out on display and they, I think they had a couple in there. So I think you can still purchase this at some places. Um, I'd recommend just getting this one because this is actually really good and staying away from those gigantic, annoying, like big Norvina palettes. Especially because it's $60. $60 for this. No. No, 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 no. Oh, that's the other ridiculous thing they also released. Uh, lip balms. ABH lip balms. $18 for a lip balm. How dare you, first of all. <laughs> you don't need to. My favorite regular lip balm is Blistex. A couple of dollars at Walgreens. My favorite now, deep conditioning, like overnight lip treatment, is from Shop Miss A. Yes. I actually just filmed my big, um follow-up review of all the products I hauled in my gigantic Shop Miss A haul a few months ago. I think if everything goes according to plan, that video should be going up at the end of this week. And I talk about one of their lip products that is a dupe for, in my opinion, it's a dupe for the la, 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 for the Laneige lip sleeping mask. Uh, but I love that. And a couple of dollars. You don't need to spend $18 on a mango ABH lip balm. Another collab from ColourPop, ColourPop and Hello Kitty. I have to say, 
the little quads actually look cute um the little quads the little blue quad yellow quad purple oh i want the orange but i don't need them the blushes look adorable oh oh excuse me oh jesus all right i gotta say it is cute it is cute i'm never buying anything from ColourPop anymore but i gotta say at least you know whenever what is it a broken clock is right twice a day <laughs> yeah it's just like meh like even though like this looks interesting i can't even like get myself to feel excited about a color pop release at this point you know yeah so did she do it did kim kardashian finally come out with an eyeshadow palette i might purchase this is the new camo collection from kkw beauty and uh there's only two greens why not have more green <laughs> uh i think i mentioned it before like i as much as there was a few products in the Kylie cosmetics line that I really ended up liking. And I was surprised by how much I liked them. Like the concealer, the concealer was actually bomb. Great concealer. Some of the eyeshadow palettes are fantastic. So part of me wanted to try KKW Beauty just to see if there were any hidden gems there. But I could never talk myself into trying any of them because they all looked boring. They were expensive. Nothing. This is the first palette where I was like, hmm, hmm. Hmm, yeah, mm, 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 maybe, maybe. But there's only two greens and it's $52. Yeah. yeah, and then what else are the rest of these? I think there's some, sh oh, they're eye crayons. So there's $18 eye crayons, which $18. Mm. There's a liquid lipstick, there's highlighters. Oh, the whole collection's only $270. Ugh. Oh no, I got cut off. Oh no, I got so lost in my little rant that my my camera cut off and I have no idea where uh, it cut off. Um, but I was getting sassy about how much the full collection of this KKW Beauty um, collection is. That you can get the whole collection for the low, low price of $270. No, thank you. Nope, 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 nope. And I definitely, like, part of me looking at the palette was like, oh, hmm, hmm. Maybe just try it. Maybe just assuage your curiosity. And then I saw the swatches, and I'm like, why? Why bother? I'm not. I'm not. At this point, I just have to like, admit, like, I'm never going to buy anything from KKW Beauty. <laughs> so, Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics is coming out with a new collection, and I've never bought from them. I never will buy from them. But I just wanted to point out the name of the collection is called Bad and Rougie. Like, I know it's supposed to be Bad and Bougie, but there's... It's not even like cringe, it's like trying a little too hard, you know? Yeah. Anyway, the blush palette, I have to say, like actually the orange blush palette looks cute. I like orange blushes, I like peach blushes, the cute. Um, I would not buy any of this. There's a uh, cream to powder blush stick, there are matte blush palettes, there's a lip cushion, and then there is a... looks like a cream blush. Yeah, and they're all so expensive no thank you no thank you oh we're finally here let's <laughs> let's talk about these let's talk about these um color pop came out with neon who who had the audacity first of all okay they came out with neon palettes okay neon neon palettes guess how many neon shades were in the palette it's a five pan palette for it to be called a neon palette how many of those shades do you think need to be neon oh, yeah. all of them do, do i hear all of them or at least the majority of them you, one would assume right uh one they took <laughs> they took a neutral palette added one <laughs> neon shade and called it a neon palette who, I just, I, I am just like, someone must have some brass ball at ColourPop, you know? Like, who came up with this and said, let's make it, let's call it the neon palette. It's got one neon shade in, oh my god, oh my god. I still can't believe this is a real thing. And like, they got roasted so badly on um, Instagram, they changed their Instagram description for the release photo. And I think they started calling it, instead of calling it the neon palette, they started calling it the Papa Neon. Cause it's literally, that's all there is, is one neon shade. 
<laughs> just, oh. At this point, I don't even need to like roast ColourPop. They're doing it themselves. I, I still can't believe that's a real thing. I feel like that should have been an article, like, on The Onion. Or that should have been an SNL skit. But no, that's that's a real thing. That they took, they took that from brainstorming meetings to planning to development to production all the way to release. Wow. Melt Cosmetics is coming out with a new palette, and it's called the Brew... Is it Brunet or Brunette palette? Um, but it's just a neutral palette. Uh, cool toned, neutral. So at least, um, if anyone's looking for another cool toned palette, there you go. Um, and they also came out with some brushes and their travel friendly brush holder, which I guess now that people are getting vaccinated, you could theoretically travel more. But I'm just seeing, like, is anyone else just, like, super worried about the fact that, like, less and less people are going to get vaccinated? and they're not wearing masks, and people, any, you can just go anywhere in line and say you're vaccinated and just get inside without a mask. I think, I don't know, I feel like, I feel like a lot, a lot of people are thinking like, oh, we're about to get back to normal, we're over the hump. We're not, we're really not. Anyway, sidebar, um, I don't think people should be traveling all that much, you know, but that's neither here nor there. Um, the palette just looks all right. I'm not super interested, but I know a lot of people are going to be happy to see a cool toned palette. Ooh, that's a lot of money. Sigma is coming out with a lip oil, which I found a lip oil from Shop Masse that I really, really enjoy. It's a dollar. They're just comfortable, they're nourishing, and then they look really good on camera, actually. Uh, but these are $22 each for a lip oil. Mm. Yeah, no, no, thank you. I don't think I've ever actually tried any of Sigma's makeup. I mean, I've tried a lot of their brushes and I like their brushes, um, but they've been steadily increasing in price over the last few years. Meh. But I've never tried any of their makeup. And I think it's because their price points are just really high for their makeup though, than what you would expect. Yeah. Anyway, not interested. Lime Crime is coming out with something called the Sunkissed Glimmering Skin Sticks. And these are some pretty interesting shades and they say it's basically a cream blush kind of product blush highlighter kind of product. $25 each, and they're supposed to be multi-use highlighting, glimmer, bronze, or blushed looks. For your face, body, lightweight, buildable formula, has hydrating properties for silky summer skin. I gotta say, I'm just interested in like that, there's this gold shade that I think would make a really pretty like, like editorial look with like heavy blush all the way up around here. And I think I need to place an order from Lime Crime soon-ish to pick up. I think they have a black lipstick. I'm trying to collect some more black lipsticks. I want to do another black lipstick, best and worst black lipstick videos in the next few months. And I need to collect some more black lipsticks. So I don't know. This is actually kind of interesting. So this, I'm not sure how this is going to go. I'm kind of interested. Maybe I'll try it out when it comes out. But this is called, from Maybelline, this is the new 4-in-1 Glow Perfector. It's by Maybelline. It looks like it's going to be a new foundation. But I'm confused as to how it's supposed to prime, conceal, and highlight. Maybe they just mean highlight as in like what you would use concealer under your eye for. Because I can't, I can't imagine this being like a glowy kind of highlighter. Unless it's supposed to be just like a dewy foundation. I don't know. Um, I personally hate the giant poof poof balls at the end of this. Um, it's the same thing that comes at the end of their Instant Age Rewind concealer and I just, I pulled it off because I don't like it. And if you pull it off, you can just get the actual end and just get the product out that way because I don't like those little spongies. Um, but this has that spongy. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm kind of curious though. It doesn't say when it's going to be released or anything. It just says coming soon. So I will keep you guys updated if I see anything more. Oh, no. Oh, no. I want these. <laughs> Givenchy came out. I think they finally released their loose blushes. I love it's the it's the bougier side of me that loves their loose powder, the Prism Libre powder for under my eyes. It's one of the best powders I've ever tried. I want to try this blush. I want to get this blush. I don't know if it's going to be like right now, right now, but I, I need this blush in my life at some point. I just, I, I, I need it. <laughs> I feel like that clip in SpongeBob where he's going for the water. Like I need it. I need this stupid blush. 
I'm probably going to wait for it to go on Sephora and add it to my loves list. Maybe the next sale, maybe the fall sale, I'll pick it up. But eventually, I will own this blush. Wow, so I'm kind of surprised that this got so big. But Makeup by Mario is now getting these big displays in Sephora. Wow. I don't think I've ever really been interested in any of the products. But I'm also not super aware. I haven't seen anyone that I'm subscribed to review or do any of these. So if you have anything that you're curious about me trying out, I might pick up one or two products from the brand just to give them a try. So let me know down below. If there's any products that you've tried or you think would be interesting to see um, or that you've heard good things about from Makeup by Mario, let me know down below. Uh, so a new release from One Size Beauty. I'm not supporting Patrick Star. So no thank you. Also, again, another brow product release where they don't have a black shade I, I just that bugs me because I love black eyeshadows and I know there are a lot of people that have like black hair that would prefer to have black eyebrows and not just dark dark dark, dark brown eyeshadow eyebrows not eyeshadows <laughs> anyway that's just my personal pet peeve whenever I see a brow line and they don't have a black shade it just meh. okay so we're kind of I was kind of surprised when I saw this too because I did not think Becca would be planning or releasing anything new between the announcing their, their closing and actually closing. But their last product is a Pride highlighter, and it's called High Angel. Um, and it's just a, well, I was going to say limited edition. I was like, now everything from Becca's limited edition. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, but it is a iridescent one-of-a-kind highlighter inspired by their best-selling opal shade. Okay, so I already know this is going to be too dark for me, which... It's okay. There are plenty of highlighters that I can use. I love the purple um, packaging on this, but yeah, I'm probably not gonna pick this up. I was like, again, I'm pretty surprised that they're coming out with something new. I guess this must have been like in the pipeline for a while, and they just kind of pushed it through as like the last project that they're gonna do before they close. Um, but yeah, it's at the typical price point of thirty eight dollars, which is steep for a highlighter, but. They are um, also making a donation to uh, the Trevor Project. So they're donating $50,000, which I think is awesome. So I feel like this is probably going to sell out because everyone's going to want Becca's last release. So if you're interested, I'd say, yeah, go ahead. Why not? Um, but I am also curious to see, like, depending on how well this does, if Becca is still going to close down. And if Becca does close down, whether their parent company is going to keep, like, their formulas or their products and maybe move them, shuffle them around to other brands. But we'll have to just see. All right, so that is everything for this edition of the Be Wow. As always, let me know down below what you thought of these products. And if you have any recommendations for any of the brands that I mentioned before, anything you think I should try or pick up, let me know down below as well. Thank you guys for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye. My god, my entire space button has just fallen. It's, it's crash landing back to Earth. Speaking of crash landing back to Earth, Jeff Bezos is going to space. Ha <laughs> ha.